aim with this dual weapons and it's something that you do have to learn uh, it is a learned skill so um, start practicing early and you'll soon get good at it now one thing to note here is I did pick up a lever action rifle I typically don't like this weapon very much um, and the main reason is that you have a slow rate of fire very slow reload And ultimately, it's it's kind of difficult to aim with the way that it's set up. Um, that that reloading or sort of the, the chambering an animation there, uh, lever action, throws off your aim between shots. So uh, it's just kind of an all-around difficult weapon to hand handle. Um, but I like to I sort of consider it the poor man's crossbow. You get an additional headshot bonus when you're using that weapon. Um, it does do a fair a large amount of damage per shot. Uh, but its usefulness is kind of restricted by the fact that you can't deliver a lot of shots at once, similar to the crossbow. You notice here, I'm, I'm doing a lot... fighting a lot more effectively with these dual hand cannons than I was with the deliver. So, um, and that's kind of the, the way that I've, I've noticed it always goes. One of the nice things about the lever action, though, is that its availability. Um, you can find it lying on the ground. I personally find it difficult to aim with it. It just seems kind of jumpy to me, but other people might might be able to adapt to it better with practice. Um, but it, it, I think that it has a place in that it's very easy to come by. It's inexpensive. Um, you can pick one up on most levels, and if you're low on ammo, um, it can really save you in a pinch. So. It's just kind of the poor man's crossbow. If you can't afford a crossbow and you want to you know, practice kind of that, that single-shot kill thing, um, you can do it with that. So come down here. Next up, I'm going to buy an EBR. Um, there's kind of a lot of controversy about the EBR. Some people say it's an overpowered weapon. I tend to agree it is kind of overpowered, um, but at the same time, it's it's a very useful weapon, and primarily because it's kind of, it's that weapon that, that gives the sharpshooter perk its balance, or, or rather its versatility. Um, it allows you to, to kind of run and gun to an extent, which most of the other weapons are not supportive of. So uh, it has a, a fairly um, high DPS, one of the highest DPSs in the game. Um, it does have a, a bonus headshot damage, and you see this laser sight, which you can toggle on and off with the use. middle mouse click or whatever you have your secondary fire bound to. Um, but this, uh, it's really good for um, run and gun sort of situations. difficult for me to see with the fact that it's kind of a low frame rate due to recording here. It's not usually this bad, so I apologize. Bear with me. Obviously, it's a lot better um, for you as a sharpshooter if you can take time to take those headshots. Um, just having a really hard time controlling it with the frame rate right now. But, uh, rather than doing this run-and-gun thing, but in the end, this, this uh, M14 does serve a valuable role um, being able to allow you to do this in, in kind of the middle stages of the game. It's very useful, or it's very useful when you're playing on solo. Uh, it's very useful for trying to clock headshots when you're trying to level up your perk. Uh, so for those things, it is, it is a very useful weapon. It's, it carries a lot of ammo. You can carry a total of 14 magazines of 20 rounds each. It's uh, about 300 rounds um, which is more than pretty much any other weapon in the game. And at the same time, each of those rounds can do colossal damage if you spend them wisely. So, I mean, you're, you're not going to run out of ammo with that weapon. Now, I'm going to switch over here to the crossbow. I'll buy that crossbow back. Downside of the crossbow, it's very heavy, very slow to reload, slow to fire. Upside is that it has a lot of power. And it has a massive four times headshot damage multiplier. Um, combine that with the additional headshot damage that you get as a sharpshooter, uh, and combine that with the additional damage you get with the crossbow as a sharpshooter. And the probability of you one hitting an enemy is extremely high. In fact, even on suicidal difficulty, a level six sharpshooter uh, will kill Scrakes and Fleshbounds in one good headshot. Uh, the only real 
problem with that being is that sometimes it can be difficult to headshot. There's some hitbox issues with those uh, enemies. So I'm going to try and outmaneuver these guys here early on. It's not going to be easy for me with the frame rate what it is, but... Fifty caliber toss. Dang, this is not turning out so well. Now I see here I switch to the crossbow and I can take out that flesh pound uh, before it becomes a more immediate threat, but at the same time, it does not allow me to deal with these other Zeds same time. So, as you notice here, the hand cannons with their extra penetration and their high rate of fire, high DPS, uh, makes them really almost an ideal complement to the crossbow. Because you can... Let's see what I'm doing here. Because you can switch to and from the hand cannons and the crossbow rather quickly. Using that, that best weapon key, if you watched my first tutorial on basic controls and tactics, uh, you would have heard about that in these. This switch to best weapon key allows you to quickly, uh, in a pinch, put away those hand cannons, switch to your crossbow, and take that important shot. Now, sharpshooter's main role is eliminating high value targets, which is kind of what I'm doing here. And you notice I'm, I'm very ineffective at combating these swarms of kind of moderately weak enemies, um, even with the extra penetration that the hand cannons of four it just is not very effective at that, so... Oh, crying out loud. I can't see a thing. I want you close, babe. But so, you know, as you, as you know, Sharpshooter is not effective at crowd control. When you're playing as a team, your role is going to be to take out the high-value targets, such as these husks, scrakes, and flesh pounds, uh, sirens at a distance. Uh, that's what you're going to be really effective at, and that is what I recommend you do as a team member when you're playing this as a team. Um, you're not going to be effective at combating these smaller Zeds as much, and you're going to rely on another team member to do it. Um, the best team members to kind of pair up with a Sharpshooter are going to be either a support specialist or a commando, because it allows them to engage those smaller Zeds very quickly, uh, take them out in droves. So you want to pair up with a, a support specialist or commando on your team if you're running as a sharpshooter. Um, eliminate those high-value targets. You need to be able to cover teammates uh, from both directions. So you know, be, be looking uh, both directions. Don't try and concentrate down one corridor. You're not a, a class that's really um, designed to camp one specific Sergeant, spot because you kind of need to be able to coming. spread around Still that firepower uh, when it's needed. So be able to have that crossbow uh, to cover your team from both directions at any given time. You want to make sure that your team is uh, communicating to you effectively. So if they have microphones, encourage them uh, to let you know if a flesh pound or a scrake is spotted. Um, allow you to get that jump on those units before they become a threat to the team because um, you know knowing is half the battle I guess is kind of a cliche but it's it's certainly true when you're talking about the sharpshooter. So now we're up to the patriarch and I've pretty much covered everything. Um, let's see if there's anything else not really. One thing I didn't really talk about was you know recommended loadouts. This is certainly one of them as you can see I have the dual can cannons and the crossbow they work really well together. Another combination that works fairly well is when you combine the M14 EBR dual hand cannons and dual 9mm. Um, it sounds like overkill. It really generally is. In certain situations, though, when you're talking about like a suicidal game uh, with a lot of players, there's going to be a lot of Zeds to take out, and there's a, a probability that your team is going to run low on ammo. And uh, when you have a, a loadout like that, you don't have to worry about being the one that runs out of ammo. Now, any class, as you can see there, um, sharpshooter with a crossbow, level 6, will take out the patriarch fairly quickly. I'm actually playing on normal with only one player, so it's not quite as big a deal as it is when you have a team. Um, but it is one of those, those combinations that works really well. You get a team of sharpshooters with crossbows, and the patriarch is mincing. Alrighty, I hope this was uh, helpful for you. The next tutorial is going to cover uh, leveling the sharpshooter perk. 
Um, again, you can go and visit more of my tutorials at skycommand.org.